ya five na hapo hapo hiyo is better maybe kuna mtu anajiuliza mfungue five ama nifungue hapo so mimi naweza kuambia fungua zote at the same time kama zinaweza kurefua zote mbona usi maximize hiyo of course si unitia kwa kupata kazi kama unaweza kufanya zote mimi naweza nilianza kuzifanya kufanya kazi five na hapo actually zote zilianza kufanya at the same time na karibu zote zimeleta the same money si ati mmoja kwa kingine zote 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 ni same After graduating in 2019, three friends from campus unite to talk about issues that affect you and them. We bring you the best chats on trending topics, love, money and investment, football and everything in between life. Shikuni Talks is not just funny but also full of wisdom and advice. Join us every Sunday at 3 p.m. live on social media or get our latest updates on shikunitalks.com. Okay guys, welcome again to another episode of Shikundi Podcast. And as we promised last week to begusia mambo na Upwork and uh, congratulations shout out to all those guys when you reach out on whether there's a guy anatoka Kiricho. Okay, the student Kiricho anatoka Kitale, anaitwa Meshak, pia amekuja. Nimempea nimemuanzisha pia training, pia anaendelea na article writing and everything Upwork. So leo venye tulikuwa tumepromise leo tunaguzia watu wa five watu pia so many people kuna bila kuna, kuna someone anaitwa Dan ni mwalimu mm. lakini aliuliza mambo na five hadi alimpa namba yake so leo tunataka tuguzie hiyo na tumtumie video personally to recommend kwa video personally everything about five and yeah, Alan ajue so many people walikuwa wanasema how to find how to pata ugumu kufungua hapo kuna kuanza ndio kwa proposal na kwa kwa masubwa lakini nilifuatia nilifuatia pia wengine proposal za proposal za jua so next tunaenda kwa Fiverr na Fiverr hapa hivi sasa uko na two au kwanza au wili au ni two to created sellers ni sellers ni sellers sellers two to created sellers Fiverr so today they are going to tell us everything about Fiverr venye tu venye unaanza na Fiverr mpaka uendelee hivyo mpaka venye utaland your first gig kwa Fiverr the, your first job yeah. Fiverr na venye uta keep that client unajua shida haikwingi tu kupata your first job utapata your first job which is okay but sasa venye utaendelea ku, ku keep ku build relationship na client wako ndio aendelee kukupea kazi upate tu kazi siku moja alafu after that client ametoka tena so we are going to start to pretend that atombe like kwanza atombe like yeye ame 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 specialize in what Fiverr like eh so <coughs> mimi nataka nianze na history yangu ya Fiverr kwenye nimetoka mbali by the way nilitengeneza Fiverr nilifungua Fiverr yangu 2017 watu walikuwa mlikuwa mnasikia the previous episodes definitely kuna part mlisikia nikisema hivyo nilitengeneza Fiverr yangu 2017 but nilianza kutumia Fiverr last year 2020 why see at 2017 nilitengeneza nikatoka nilikuwa na ile hamu ya kujua pia hapo nilikuwa sikidia lakini sasa tena kuna kitu inaitwa gig hapo Fiverr. Kama hujui kutengeneza gig Fiverr, there is no way you can get started. So nilijua kutengeneza gig 2020. Ile wakati sasa it was just a must nijue. Na kama unataka kujua kitu, obviously ndio kuna ile dedication utakuwa nayo, utataka kujituma, ujue vile unafanya. So nilienda YouTube nikaangalia how to create a gig alafu kitu kingine tena kama utapata the related uh, yenye unataka kama kama in writer na search how to create a writing gig on fiverr utazipata videos mingi youtube zinapelezea kama wewe mambo na video editing how to create a video editing new ya gig on fiverr kama mambo na podcast how to create podcast gigs in fiverr that's one way the second way ni kuenda fiverr kwenyewe u search hizo gigs mwenyewe utapata watu washatengeneza zao angalia vile wametengeneza boy wapi wameko wapi pricing and everything hapo ndio hata unaweza five wana ile mambo na nini you can just copy and paste eh kitu utafanya tu labda when beginner just reduce the prices you always copy at operate and they copy high pricing then then you copy dina wa kisha wa kisha wa kisha ndio kwa kitu mweka jina unaandika thank you hana hata hana na wewe hana sasa lazima uko mjanja then Uh, kutengeneza gig by the ndio trick pekee yake Fiverr that is i love the good thing about Fiverr these are the advantages of Fiverr kwa kwa Upwork Fiverr ukishatengeneza hiyo gig hiyo gig actually ni kama tu poster unasema nitakufanyia hivi 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 
na hii price nitakufanyia hivi na hii price kama nitakuwa nikia 500 dollars that code na tube 5 dollars that is the lowest you can go 5 or you can not earn lower than 5 dollars alafu ama alafu 1000 words itakuwa 10 dollars 2000 words itakuwa 20 dollars ukishaweka hivyo the good thing about 5 sasa baya sana na kukujia hautatuma proposal hautafanya nini bora aone hiyo kitu atakutumia message ama order direct unaweza kuwa unalala unapata chapa moja hamjiongea hamjifanya kitu anangoja tu deliver so fiverr for a beginner you will need it ndambe uh, baadaye but uh, for a beginner pia ni ile zingine nzuri sana that is kama unajua kucheza na hizo pricing na na tricks za kwa kwa entice buyer za kukuje okay so when you ask here like the mambo ya like the best way ya kuanzisha gigs mambo kuna ku youtube na pia kuna ku copy paste ndio ku copy paste usi copy paste pia ndio ile pesa kwa mjanja juwezi usome usome chenye maandika sija kasema ni professional sija kwa na makampuni huko na huko actually the trick ni tafuta similar gig yenye ndio kutengeneza pale eji na perform vizuri then try and make it better to make it better so una edit unaona hapa hapa inafaa iko hivi ya exactly when test to buy us alafu another any other any other like rules of five na jo like any rules of five watu wanafaa kuzingatia like true hapo tu generally kwa gigs umesema prices si ndio like is it pia another thing another thing grammar pia ni important kwa hiyo kitu like yeah you know unajua client si tumesema hapo tu ni proposal so client anakuja anaangalia kwa kitu hapa so in simple words a gig is the service that you are offering hiyo ndio kule kinaita gig so akikuja akisoma akiona sasa wewe pale uko na grammatical errors sasa atajua huyu jamaa hizi niandikia tu maybe ndio ndika tu eh hivi ndio atandika tu kwa nini so you lazima tu grammatical ikuwe kwa sababu alafu like advice gani mnaweza pewa kwa mtu anataka kuanza eh pricing either pricing ndio unajua ni shida au you create gig ni sawa everybody can create a gig Yes, there's a difference in it and determine if a client atakutua atakutafuta ama achukue gig yako eh atachukua gig yako mapana so even utakuwa me so like one is advice aje mtu mwenye ataka ku price gig yake so if you are beginning by the way kuna watu wengi sana including badasa hapa hivi wenye ni ma ni mwapa tips zingine naona hata sasa hivi bwana gig yangu umetupa ya sahi chini Sisi mbona labda ni juma siku zina deliver kazi bila kitu. Sisi ndo tukapo juu. Eh? Baya sako juu kule bibi amile ule mwenye alinia hapo juu, ana hapo juu yangu, Dre hapo juu yangu. Ah watu wote exam za podcast. Lakini ni juu si ati mimi nimefanya tumbani kazi imejaa ina small late deliver skill at level 3. Eh. So this is the true content. Ah he's a beginner. Beginner yako sawa sahi sahi jamaa ko. So This is the trick. Ukiingia okay, Fiverr. Well, you the first thing you should know see your writing peke yake kwa Fiverr. Una check. Na uki kuna services mingi hundreds of services. So ukiingia usiingie tu kama na ile mind writing. Actually unaweza ingia Fiverr kwanza sasa tumtaka kutengeneza gig ama unaingia kama kama ba, kama seller. Ingia kama buyer. Browse. Watu wanaofa nini? watu wanaofanya ingia hapo kwa writing uangalie oh yeye amesema atatengeneza nini angalia kwenye watu wachache kama kwa podcast hata nilikundua podcast watu wako sijua 120 peke yake wenye kuna gigs za podcast 120 dunia nzima hiyo itakuwa rahisi sana kufanya kwa hiyo ni rahisi rahisi so angalia kitu watu kaofi kama brangu huyo mkubwa Elvis yeye na liingia na trick ya survey unacheck kufanyia wazungu zile unajua kuna wazungu anafanya research nini so anataka ma respondents nini Yeah, asaba to 50 respondents and to 50 dollars 500 respondents you need 500 dollars 1000 respondents you need 1000 dollars very few people say so, one page una check so five uh, writing ne kwa flooded writing kwa flooded utapata shida sana tu writing kwa flooded so angalia kwanza service yenye haifanyi nini yenye haina competition yenye watu hata hawako jifunze hiyo skill then kwa pricing hapo nao kama unaanza sasa uh, price inaanza na chini the lowest to resend at your the lowest in your one offer kama wewe ni writer ni one book kwa watu and at unaanzia chini kabisa kuna mtu ulizona 0.6 anzia hata 0.6 ama hata 0.5 1000 watu zile kula tu 500 peke yake 
utavuruta au maclients na unajiweza five star tulisema five star ni five star ikue kazi week ikue kazi jiku umefanya ikue na pesa ngapi five star ni five star itakuinukia account so tengeneza the first thing ni kutengeneza account tengeneza account grow 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 na hizo masters masters ikishafika huko juu anza sasa kucheza na prices mm. so anza na chini kama five star the lowest unaweza unaweza price au uweze weka 1 dollar uweze weka 2 dollars uweze weka 3 dollars uweze weka 4 the lowest unaweza kwa any service ni 5 dollars so weka to 5 dollars up kwa any service una offer alafu as the list alafu sasa zingine ucheze nazo hiyo alafu utaona una change ukishapata hizo reviews baada hapo mimi umesema hiyo staff na different jobs yenye example apart from writing juice is in kwa kwa mbele uko na phd client and come in contact juice mm-hmm. so i mean to me na mm-hmm. mimi invite to interview nikamwambia i do it mimi atasikwa rajio nini ndio but nikafikiri pengine amona amona plan yangu ya work mm-hmm. na kona either that and this is a money right mm-hmm. akaniambia at the alignment tests mimi atasikwa the alignment tests <laughs> nini mm-hmm. sasa so, nikataka kukataa kwa nataka mm-hmm. kukataa kwanza alignment tests juice ile ni nini nikakataa mm-hmm. nikataka kukataa na mimi kamwambia ah kwa ni ni enye freelancers pia ukienda faiva unajaribu hiyo kitu venye utino amesema usiende kama seller kwanza mm-hmm. don't go and offer your service at mm-hmm. to you offer that services enda kwanza uangalie services watu wana oh browse rate muangalie rate amesema rate za watu wako wengi so itakuwa ngumu sana sawa kama kama we ni beginner podcast amesema they are like 120 gigs of podcast peke yake hiyo ni podcast show notes podcast management podcast hosting kufanya mm-hmm. nini hizo zote aya tafuta hiyo mambo na survey venyewe amesema uwezi kukosa kupata respondence wa survey au unatumia tu watu tu kwa class yako nini nini wana reply nini uwezi kukosa so kuna so many services eh? so waingie hapo hivyo tafuta kwanza browse uangalie tafuta category yenye ni less competitive eh? tafuta category yenye ni less competitive juu sasa zingine sio hata kama unasema unajua watu wengine wanaona anga ati ah mimi naweza fanya reading sisi fanya podcast lakini unapata rating client amekukondact na amepeto pick nyingine ngumu yenye hata uwezi fanya sio ati rating ni rahisi venye watu wanafikiria hata kuna wakati inafika tu unachoka kwa eh ama unachoka kuandika hakuna site eh so you have to do something next so after your podcast editing aya kuna nyingine pia nilikuwa naona watu wanafanya ile tu anga ya kucheck run like staff ni kama ni kama tu podcast no asika podcast ni writing but unaona ile mtu amepiga picha documents unaona mm. kama writing documents kama kitabu mpiga mm. picha notes nini 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 ah. so una unazitai one ni time set kitu kama hiyo so una type into word hizo ah. document to word nini so hiyo go browse browse hizo categories sorted mm. na uangalie enye ni list sana sana za starter tafuta ile ni list competitive mm. tafuta please unajua auta 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 kwa na inaitwa ni competition competition no. eh yeah, after inaauta kwa na competition kama unataka kuingia writing sasa hapo pengine itabidi ume reduce prices venye amekwambia mm-hmm. itabidi umeandika tuseme bidi umeumia kidogo kwa yeah, for 1000 watu umeandika for 5 dollars 6 dollars 7 dollars hapo hivyo ukiweka for 10 dollars utapata so many writers wa kwa hapo mm-hmm. so itabidi umepunguza na ni yako upate clients upate clients upate clients ukishafika kitu kama 40 50 na watu wameko review vizuri utakuwa umepanda juu na unaweza ongeza price yako hata unaweza weka double na bado utapata clients wanaweza bado wanaweza mzo kumetee so apart from that sasa mambio about kutafuta gigs una youtube na kuna copy paste like so stack to me the word copy paste ni kama mbaya sana kuna enda soma enda angalia 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 gigs the format the format venye iko gigs za watu wengine angalia venye iko then ukuje utumie kwa yako ama uingie youtube ama google kama unaweza google upate just do it mm. so nataka hapo hivyo after we create your gig after we praise vizuri umeambiwa how to praise the field that you are far kwenda so nataka they tell us about client management client relationship yeah? mm. how do you maintain that job i don't advocate for one time clients okay kuna wale one time clients one time projects hiyo ni sawa hivi sasa lakini ukipata client unafaa 
kuna change that client so that that client thinks about you the next step the any time anataka kazi anafikiria acha ni ndio utieno ama ni ndio jilo so hebu mtupe tips like nyi mko na long term clients so nataka kupe our listeners the tips on how to keep a client okay 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 first mimi tunaweza sema kama kwenye pita amesema unaweza pata umelala umeamka unapata client so first thing lazima uko unajua fiverr lazima uko unaingia free yaani lazima uko tu online every time kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza wewe kupata kupata ile client lazima akituma text as fast as possible you know so ina tumia kama watu watatu at the same time at the same time so wewe uki delay kama labda same 30 minutes utapata hata kama ume reply unapata so first thing unahakikisha ume reply hiyo message yake as fast as possible so make sure umekuwa online fiverr as as uh, as long as possible and the trick you go online you online always go online so lazima utakuwa unaingia online na refresh na fanya nini kuna this stuff in the extension chrome extension and also as to mtadapta jina mnaweza kata kwa youtube link ile when i refresh to you unaweza toka kwa hiyo tab ya fiverr na inaji refresh yenyewe una check au download app ya fiverr na simu sasa itakuwa tu unapatia notification ukimpata message na kutumia notification so that is one thing second thing how to reply the first message of uh, that client you know that that determines kama kama ataendelea na kazi yako na position so lazima ukue lazima ukue as welcoming as possible so that first sentence lazima umweka unaona mm-hmm. maybe them to say thank you for your message nini nini no na sasa kitu kama hiyo so introduce ni kama una welcome that is uh, the second thing third thing kitu naweza sema hiyo kitu naweza sasa ku retain client ni kazi the quality of work na sasa hapo ndo kila kitu na sababu anasema usiweke gig yenye ya kitu yenye huwezi fanya. So after researching make sure ume umeenda ume try kama mimi juzi si mimi naandika na podcast. <coughs> so juzi nime unajua as a freelancer lazima uko aggressive. So nilienda huko ndani nikaanza kuangalia this this thing we calling uh, audio editing. No. So nimeingia huko ndani tu nimeanza ku sasa nika hii audio editing nikaenda YouTube nikaanza kuangalia hizo video ni so ni nikaanza nika practice audacity hata huyu jamani nimeona nilikesha hiyo siku kai the one day na kifunza tu ku how to to edit audio to edit audio using audacity but then related na podcast yes then i went further and uh, used the adobe audition mm. no so adobe audition pia nikajifunza jinsi ya ku so nikapata client you know so client amenitumia audio so mimi nika edit nikahakikisha hakuna background noise ni safi ni clean hakuna hizo pata client hakuna hizo mama ma short hizo ma gaps gaps you know ana ma sasa eh hizo na 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 mimi nime na mimi nipata client so nimepata client then nimepata you know so so as a, as a, as a freelancer lazima uende once to practice so i took time and practice hiyo uh, uh, audio audio editing you know na so hiyo ndo kitu unapaswa fanya so what you offer hakikisha unajua kitu na offer hata pale wajua mkichat naye lazima atakuwa anakuuliza na hiyo what do you need nini sasa wewe hata utii nini unachaji so you need to do so that is it so pita taendelea kidogo unaweza wewe to pay additional tips on how to keep clients long term clients eh long term clients kitu cha kwanza obviously ni ni kazi na mnajibia kwanza ukipata hata client wako kwanza kabisa the first thing unataka ku make sure hiyo kazi unampatia first impression hata hata kwa rembo mnajua kwanza the first get first first anything first anything there is always that impression na kama unataka ku maintain client kwanza kuna kuna wengine huwa anakuja mostly kwa podcast anasema oh my podcast show notes writer is away he cannot do so he is unable to write I'm trying this if you do well it's do you I consider I consider what I'm going to work I can work I can work that's obviously he you want that wale mwingine akudi atendele but sasa ukimchapia kitu vizuri umemnyanganya umenyanganya ule mwingine so lazima ugonge kazi mwanzo kama wewe unaua unahakikisha kazi yake umeua you take your time bwana kama mwingine no 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 now this this is my sasa hivi mbona sasa I'm changing my I'm changing my character Chapa yani kama hao hao unachukua sijui unaacha resources au mention mention kwa kuna mali una mention resources then una books kila kitu kila kitu pale unahakisha iko alafu introduction hiyo siko kuna inchapa perfect one mwanzo mwafe my name summary kitu kama another trick ya kitu kama haya ni unamwambia nitumie sample 
delivery yako pia ikuwe yeah deliver your orders on time client ume ume we mwenyewe ume si ati client amekupea deadline five wende huona pana deadline unasema hiyo gig inasema nitamaliza hii in 24 hours ukitaka una set ya 2 hours asi i missed 2 hours 2 days 48 hours 3 days. Days. days wewe ndio una set one week sasa tena one week hadi hadi ukitaka kuna 30 days mm. ina depend na what you are doing <laughs> eh yeah, 90 days so hiyo ni mambo na kama mambo na stress media management inataka kama mzee mzee mimi hata research hizo So wewe mwenyewe ndio umeset deadline. Mbona usi deliver on time? Client anajua kesho ni kukuja saa kama saa hii nitapata nitapata order ya deliver. Ndio amesema ndio ndio wasi. Wewe uko anaingia anasema oh sorry I was unable to complete would you mind adding me more days? Umeanza kupoteza client. Atakubadili ni mtu mkubwa atakubadili. Lakini chances yake kurudi ni ngumu. Ile trust itakuwa hai itakuwa itakuwa haiko kabisa. So hiyo ndio ndio nataka kuweka emphasis then another trick maybe ya kupata clients kuna as a beginner gig yako mostly haitakuwa ina rangi nzuri haitakuwa ina rangi ina rangi nzuri so una kuna mahali kuna section hapo ki press kwa mo iko ina kwamba sehemu yako juu mwisho wa maandika mo chini hapo kuna chini hapo kuna buy request hakikisha kwa buy request hapo hapo sasa ndio penye unaweza tuma proposal zako kama zile za hapo sasa si unaweza tuma proposal zako so Uh, and browse hizo makazi zenye ma, ma clients wame wame post alafu ni meet wanze kubili 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 alafu pia kama ni beginner okay set your prices lower set your prices lower ndio mtu ataku consider uh, so more like do kwa fiber ni mwa petri nimekuwa like kuna kama ngelea like about two or three things two or three things three things gig when you create gig yako when you edit that's the first thing before you give but other before when you want to at on after kazi fiber make sure you browse kwanza gigs za watu wengine na when you pita amesema unaingia kama buyer kwanza usingi kama seller ingia mm-hmm. kwanza kama buyer uone what services the people offering uone what field are you going into na mimi jina amesema ukiamua okay, unataka kuingia this field ya audio editing usiweke gig yako kwanza before you do what audio editing is about ndio kukigia podcast usiweke gig yako before you do what podcast is enda kwanza umesema okay umeangalia umesema umeona this e field ni less competitive podcast ni less competitive umejitoa umesema nataka niweke gig ya podcast so what you do ingia youtube ingia google tafuta resources usome what uh, audio editing ama about podcast show notes usome everything that it tells about it urudi u create gig so that client akikutext akianza kukuuliza maswali akuulize eh, what and what do you need unaweza jibu unaweza jibu unjue ni nini kwa hapo unaweza unaweza jibu and the second most thing amekwambia ni pricing as as a beginner lazima price yako itakuwa chini uweze compete na top rated eh, seller na wewe ni beginner wote mweka at 4000 watu utatika 30 dollar na 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 una star sana au una star yeah. so <laughs> pricing yako lazima ikuwe chini rudisha pricing yako chini you get the clients then after some time after two months ama nini two months if sita mingi two months in november tu utakuwa umepata hizo yeah. ratings then uta uta grow uh, another thing amesema ni hiyo ya ku request kama hapo wenye umwambia unaenda hapo ni kwa more than by request hiyo then unatuma proposal zako though okay hiyo itakuja tu on extreme ends mostly important we focus on creating a good gig na kuweka the best price alafu sasa the third most important thing ukiwa fiber venye mmesikia ni about keeping a client like hiyo ni kila section of freelancing say hata fiber peke yake like as hata hata kwa biashara ukiwa na biashara hutaki customer mwenye anakuja leo alafu anakutoka tu services na kwa mbali you need a customer mwenye anakuja na baki hapo hivyo mwendelee na watu ukipata client mmoja nzuri unajua it's better upate client mwenye kila siku anakupa kazi for the next six months mm-hmm. Then upate client anakupea kazi leo anapotea tena unategemea mwingine akuja buy hiyo gig yako tena akupe kazi mara mbili aende yani upate client mmoja leo eh unajua uwezi una do at least kwa na kitu mwenye mtu anakuwa order anakwambia okay now now that you are right and mama kubai gig zako naenda nataka in the next one month ukume nilikia 30 articles 
ama uniandikie 30 articles every month for the next 4 months about delivery response nini ukiwa na Fiverr ukiwa umefungua account yako kwa Fiverr kwa laptop take your time download app ya Fiverr download app ya Upwork kwa simu yako hiyo inakupanga wakati huko unacheza au uko na chat notification inatokezea hapo juu una click and respond sahi so that client anakuwa sasa juu ni competition unaona si ati hata atakutext wewe na atulie juu utapata there like four people who are gonna offer the same like so I text that what what no me tell you so na hiyo ta utakosa hiyo kazi so before tufunge nataka to pay any other additional comment in eh ndio anaweza kuwa na about app work nyingine sasaidia watu apo na fiber eh apo na hata before that nilikuwa niulize kati ya fiber na apo which one is better maybe kuna mtu anajiuliza nifungue fiber ama nifungue apo na check so mimi naweza kuambia fungua zote at the same time kama zinaweza kurifua zote mbona usi maximize hiyo possibility yako kupata kazi kama unaweza kufunga zote mimi hasa nilianza kuzifanya kufanyia kazi Fiverr na hapo actually zote zilianza kufanya at the same time na karibu zote zimeleta the same money si ati moja kwa jua nyingine zote 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 ni same ni same zote zinaleta same pesa equally lakini sasa the difference inakuwa labda unaweza pata leo this month ni Fiverr iko juu next month unapata ni hapo akime ndivyo Mm. si kama gig yenyewe umweka hapo then client anakuja anaangalia anakutake some communicate hapo yake ni kama more one on one selling so ukiona gig za five imekataa mm. yeah. hapo tafuta na nini uandike proposal moja kali client mm. atakuwa respond uzuri ya five pia binao mwambiwa gig yako inaweza kuwa hapo wewe ume relax then mm. unaona mm. client amekupea order mm. so fungua zote unaona mm. CRT CRT moja ita affect ngine mm. CRT kwa na five ita affect hapo yake hapo maana those are two mutually exclusive platforms nyingine inafanya kivi yake na nyingine inafanya kivi yake hata mechanism yao ya work ni different kwenye mwambie wewe ni gigs na ni proposal so they are two different things wewe fungua yote advice yangu sasa ya mwisho mwisho wenye naambia kama ni five stay online stay online hata bias wangekuja say i mean bias wangekuja kuna filter kwa na press wanasema online sellers unacheki mm-hmm. hapo ndio kwenye hata hata order okay. so stay online as much as possible if you can't leave your laptop running mfungo hiyo tengeneze tafuta extension ya ku refresh inaitwa kama simple refresh ya yeah, inaitwa simple refresh ina auto, simple auto refresh ina auto refresh una set up every 2 minutes after every 1 minute ama after every 3 minutes so itakuwa na refresh so you always be online alafu kwa sababu utapata unapata tu kazi that is my last advice. So, mimi yangu ya mwisho ni freelancing is gradual. You have to tell, to tell you this. So, hata ukiamka leo ukiamka kesho useme unafungua account yako ya hapo kama ya Fiverr. So, kitu naweza kuambia you must be patient. Unaweza pata 2 weeks hakuna client amekutext, hakuna kazi una apply kazi lakini haupati. So, be patient. That 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 is one thing. Stay online as much as possible tuma proposals kwa zile kazi una, unaona unaweza pricing yako weka chini lakini pia be patient kwa sababu ndio unaanza so always expect a client wata 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 kufikia hapa hiyo hiyo mwingine so kikwa hivyo with time uh, wataanza kukuja pole pole na account ita grow paka utafika utakuwa top rate and will be earning more than 4 uh, 4 4000 dollars a month alafu kwa na hapo nimesema kutoa proposal i think hiyo kitu tunafaa kwa address watu hapo mostly ndio mmepata watu wengi wametupa proposal and reply wa alafu wanasema eh proposal zangu zimebaki 60 ama zimebaki 50 connects zimebaki 50 60 nini okay one problem ni for by the hata hata kwambia like 
sisi tulibid mpaka inaenda zero mpaka tunanunua kuisha kujapata kazi unachangia tutapenda pesa gani wewe wewe tuma proposal hata zikisha nunua the advantage sahi alafu another thing ni uzuri ya upwork client aki reply na yako unapata ten connects so sio kopi kusimeni wewe spenda na irudi hadi 20 clients will wa respond utarudi yeah. 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 now clients will wa respond uko na do wanaweza kupea kazi yeah. but do ununue connect zingine ya kuendelea kubid kitaka the advantage sahi si tuliingia kulikuwa na kazi walikuwa nakata six connects wanakata yeah. four connects sahi kila kazi ni one connect by the hour sitika mbugudo kitu sahi kila kazi ni one connect wewe sasa ukitaka kuna kitu sasa unataka ukibid uweke una bid na six connect wala hasa inakuwa kama promote ni kama zinaonekana kwanza 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 sasa sahi kila kazi ni one connect ukiwa na 20 connect hiyo ni kazi tu sisi wewe tulianza kujanga <laughs> then unapata anga tumepata and then tunakupea ni venye okay squeeze in the one unajua naye tumekuwa busy so si rahisi to bid so we are not too much into tafuta so pata long term plan eh so eh so si rahisi to to bid ama tutafuta hizo free connects but if you are kama wewe beginner tunaweza kusaidia kutafuta ama tunaweza kuambia mali unaweza kuangalia upate hizo free connects utapata anga 40 connects mara hata in 2 weeks unaweza pata 40 40 connects hiyo ni hit connect switch kama una bid na one bob ama hata hata ukiamua ku promote nani yako ziko six unaona hiyo kazi mingi utakuwa ume, umetumia ku bid mm. so make sure venye mambio mjeni whatsapp group will tutashare hiyo link yetu tutashare kwa platform hiyo link ya whatsapp group zetu maji tumesema tuna offer training na kawe bado una zuba wenje wa training bado inaendelea so many people are getting trained and so many people are going to start uh, freelancing very soon so we are going to we are expecting you we are expecting you reach us to uh, reach 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 out to us we will help you get started in freelancing last time we call up this time uh, fiver now uzuri uki contact anybody mimi last week so many people may contact about up work na wengine pia wanakuja about fiver so fiver venye mwambie otieno na jilo the hour to is specialist na una somesikia kings house na compete so they are specialist so na yeye kuja na otieno na alifungulia jilo alimsaidia kufungua hiyo gig kazi pamoja so kama kuna parting shot in parting shot to go the next one to okay to the part the next week <laughs> okay good bye, bye. bye. thank you for listening to shiguli talks podcast we hope you enjoyed today's episode we have more interesting topics coming up in the next episodes just for you subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on social media for the latest updates please remember to visit our website and share our links with your friends to keep the conversation going Until next time goodbye have a wonderful week ahead